What? Good YouTube, and welcome to four more years, four more years of Sky Striker support. Battles of Legends seems to be where Sky Striker support is coming, and with that, people are buying out Sky Striker cards that have low printings or high rarity cards, like Linkage. Now, I would think with new support, Konami might cover some reprints, but again, Konami's also missed the mark there sometimes but with that people are buying out linkage here it's going to absolutely ridiculous prices versus before up towards around six seven dollars where you could get this relatively easy for three to four for a long time also after burners is going up for the secret rare despite a brand new printing in battles of legend having the silver rare as well as the ultra rare out of chapter one the secret rare is like 15 to 16 $16 for first edition with very few unlimbs here on the market that one being around 10 with the picture and then yeah you have 12 here 11 ish here and then it goes towards 15 plus we have high-end sky striker cards getting sales rates i'd like to remind people that Ray does now have an ultimate rare. A lot of people tend to remember the links. So the ultimate rare is getting a little traction. If you want yours, you might want to get it sooner than later using that TCG player link in the description down below, costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying. However, I feel like without Mystic Mine... How does the deck really fare? Let me know in the comments section down below. I think it's going to be an uphill battle personally, but you can see over the last three months, the ultimate rare has actually come down out of traction and is around 15 to $16, but is starting to pick up again. Very big sales rates right now. Kind of forecasting that it'll likely be back up towards 2022, probably pretty soon. So it's a good time to get it if you were in the market for one, wanting one maybe for toss format, which they did do a past format side event for at Vegas. So they are at least recognizing Toss's popularity over at Konami. I feel like Shizuku's another good ultimate rare to be staring at for what it is, as that's the card that doesn't have the most printings for the extra deck cards as the OG and I think just the secret rare and also Azalea still with one print being short printed it's got a baby bump up just before all of this and it's not really going anywhere too crazy it's mostly people targeting specific cards with this and speculating heavily in my opinion infinite impermanence is really showing itself off in this format I think the OG is pretty great value for what it is as a secret rare but it did get a straight up secret rare reprint as well in the 25th anniversary rarity collection you have so many different ones but yeah it's definitely the 25th going up towards almost triple digits here with very few under that 99.99 mark really that penny off it makes that extra difference but seriously when it comes down to it i do have a soft spot in me for og first edition print it also has an ultimate rare that is still out in front and actually come down a little over time despite the quarter century secret rare spiking right now the OTS ultimate rare had been going up stonking and now it's leveled off and come down a bit so different versions doing different things here Trident Dragon is for Tenpai. I always have to remember Senpai to remember that deck for some reason but yeah that deck has a lot of buyouts going on right now and this is a legacy card Card that also sees play in past format people are really hoping for an ots reprint battles of legends somewhere but with it being so newly announced like i i just don't see that konami is going to be that on the ball personally but we've been surprised before just be aware this card's price is really out there and quantities are getting eaten up on the card like crazy also for the ubel stuff number 35 ravenous tarantula has really spiked up in price people are looking at this for that deck and it's around ten dollars other pieces have seen recent reprints in battles of legend chapter one as well but i do actually think for gold rare this specific one looks amazing on xc so if you want that matching set i might do that sooner than later because it is considered higher rarity even though it's really fallen off just from getting a reprint makes it even easier access to match your set and make it whole because again only one printing on this one and then we also have pain gainer getting a 
common with the only other version being this gold rare. You can see actually sales rates are recently going pretty well in numbers for the card and it's around $4 still. So a lot more expensive to get that matching set versus, you know, picking up a common that is not the most populated in the world, but still under 50 cents. And then also having the ultra rare, it's just not going to feel as good not matching, but Sometimes you're on a budget for dueling, and with u -Bell decks, I wouldn't want to be paying the most either with all the buyouts that have happened around that deck recently. Black Wing Assault Dragon is up here in price, and it has gone pretty darn crazy. I believe this is also for Tempai, if I'm not mistaken. You're able to use tuners and go into that with Black Wing Dragon relatively easy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's why this is starting to spike. There are two versions of this. It's very easy access, even with that price spike, so get the version you want sooner than later, but be aware that's why it's moving. Also, Light and Darkness Dragon is being talked about for future formats as well as already making appearance within the Horus decks, I believe. So when it comes down to it, Light and Darkness is really shown in modern and of course is also really popular in certain past formats. I feel like just any version of this card is so hard to get and it's long overdue for a reprint, especially with how amazing it is. Like, it's a really cool card in history and it's been how long now astral pack 2 or storm of ragnarok that's one of its latest printings here and retro pack of course basically non-existent in terms of print stun has really taken back its reins whenever tier zero appears it comes forth from the shadows said a twitter user on the when i was talking about this when it comes down to fossil dyna though like i'm just mind blown to see the secret rare approaching trip digits for its lowest listing i believe it's around 90 dollars here yes before it's 160 to 200 dollars now the graph doesn't show as much movement and of course not the most sales in the world around this but again do beware stun is in the format i believe that was johnny and slim playing that so when it comes to stun really making appearances and actually starting to get traction it is happening and tier zero is the time to do it hmm, those imperms they're looking a little bit nicer day by day and speaking of the top decks poplar is way down in price and i'm getting a ton of people asking why what how this reminds me a lot of when the six samurai was tier zero or the deck to beat it wasn't it's more tier one and a very strong tier one but when keys on the legendary six samurais and they just took the world by storm came out he's on started super high and it came down very very fast in prices everybody who wanted it got it and then people had ban list fears it will it be here for the next big tournament or will the ban list change it People are already talking about this deck and hits outside of the main reprints that they need to hurt and weaken the deck. I feel like there's other fire decks you can also choose to play, but it's still going to be a very popular choice until Konami takes care of it. My thoughts are... It's a bit soon to be worrying about that. I think it's more so the fact that this is an ultra rare with other good secrets like low being in the set slash ultra uh, in the set, not secrets plural, but you have low and then you also have the fire princess with so many different cards in the ranges of being able to give estimated value pulled with also the 25th prince. Like this ultra is not defining of the set and you're pulling more than a play set per case, meaning there will be excess of there on average i just think that's a bit too much with all the regional packs being open and the ycs packs being open and the deck being so expensive and a lot of people not giving in to playing that and that leads to this kind of popularization of the population thanks for watching today's market watch please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the conversations and yeah sometimes things move in different directions than we expect i didn't think this would be under 20 i thought its line would be around 22 if it did dip from those kind of quantities and bandless fears but i felt like it was early for bandless fears yet here we are